Good morning, folks. How many ways can we measure change over time, especially to the environment? How do you measure the effectiveness of regrowth efforts? NASA's Landsats have been taking pictures for a very long time, and their time-lapse analysis and information focus on the U.S. Northwest is linked here for you below this video. This is millions of little dots. You've likely seen something like this before and can probably tell it's a map. But you can zoom in much farther than I did. It's every man, woman, and child in the U.S. and Canada as a dot as of the last census. Sun grays and comet update from last night's video. It did indeed die near perihelion, but do you see that small bright burst come out to the left? That's a CME as the comet passed, and it's a welcome home for the Thunderbolts coming off their conference last week. We had a 5.5 quake in southern Alaska near the location of the 7.7 late last year. Australia's weather watch zone yesterday delivered a tornado and major storm conditions. Cyclone Norel is faded and less concerning than a mang in the central Indian Ocean, set to take off west towards Madagascar. Quick weather learning, Japan is frozen right now, and repeat viewers should recognize where I'm going here. Big lows in the northern hemisphere spin counterclockwise and suck in freezing cold air on the western edge, like this. Oppositely, red high pressure systems push air out in a clockwise motion. You can see that air rushing away from the peak and the helical motion. Looking at the primary active region on the sun, still decaying, losing all magnetic complexity along with physical form. I know we got some M flares, folks, but this was a truly weak showing for these sunspots. Got another on the southeastern quadrant and some surface activity on the northeastern limb. Pulling up the bar toll, we see cosmic ray density holding steady within normal limits. NASA via the DOD confirms the coronal hole stream impact I mentioned yesterday. These are visible auroras in white over Europe. That stream is waning as you see the speed in yellow coming down from near 600 kilometers per second to under 500 and just in time as our planetary energy flux from yesterday is continued non-stop. There's more to that story as well with the Earth footprint on the southwest quadrant and an even more beautiful eruption than yesterday's down there. The satellites and endless spirals will be updated in a few hours, but I can tell you now this does appear headed our way. Our bit of luck is that the connection appears to be on the right side of that area while the eruption popped out the back left towards us. Folks, we have today's eruption following this CME set to strike Thursday night, U.S. time. You already know that multiple planetary alignments begin tomorrow, capped by Mercury conjoining the Sun. Even got some dark coronal holes down south. First full day of the earthquake watch on through the weekend. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.